Good morning. Welcome to the HFLD Conference on Climate Finance 2019 in Paramaribo, Suriname. Our next guest today here is uh, His Excellency, Mr. Satyendra Prasad. He is the um, permanent, he is the ambassador to the permanent mission of Fiji to the United Nations. Welcome, Ambassador. Uh, it is your first time in Suriname. You are from the exotically named country Fiji. For us in Suriname, it's a world away. It's uh, the other side of the world. Could you tell us a bit more about Fiji? Thank you very much, uh, Minister, and thank you very much for uh, welcoming uh, me uh, so generously to such a beautiful country. Yes, we do come from a beautiful country, but I must say from everything I've seen about Suriname, it is such a, such a beautiful country, and uh, it is so apt uh, that uh, we are having this conference in, in Suriname, thank which you. is uh, one of uh, perhaps the world's best uh, uh, carbon negative uh, country. Uh, uh, Fiji is a, uh, is a bit different, but uh, not, uh, not very uh, different in uh, many ways. We are a country of 300 uh, islands, uh, but most of our uh, population are concentrated on two very large islands. And uh, both the oceans and the forest are a very uh, important part of our campaign uh, to tackle climate, uh, climate change on, uh, on, on forest. Uh, uh, this year, on 1st of January, uh, my president uh, launched, uh, uh, and that's inspired by the work you do in Suriname, a wow. program to, uh, to plant 4 million trees with a small country of uh, less than a million, wow. about 900,000 people. Uh, so over the next four years, both at the, at the ocean end on mangroves to the ridges, to the mountains, volcanic mountains, uh, we, we have started a program to uh, plant four million trees in addition to protecting and preserving wow, our forests. Wow, that is a very so good initiative. It's part of, uh, together with your president and uh, my prime minister, both part of, uh, of uh, in the climate uh, framework, uh, high ambition coalition, and they both have said that they will lead the world uh, in tackling uh, climate, uh, climate change. And uh, we both, uh, as you'd appreciate, want to be seen and are leading from the front rather than being, uh, uh, being driven. Oh, so thank good. you very much for such a generous uh, welcome. Right. The again. pleasure is ours. Uh, it's a pleasure to have somebody all the way from Fiji. What is the time difference to Fiji? Fiji? I have not calculated right now, but... Uh, <laughs> it's probably more than 12 yeah, hours. About uh, 16 hours, I 16 think. 16 hours, yes, yes, wow. Ahead. <laughs> Fiji is where the new day begins. We're on the dateline, international dateline. Wow. Wow, so, <laughs> so that's also a good tourist attraction. Yes, yes. That's very good. Yes. Uh, we, what is the importance of the HFLD conference to Fiji? So as, as I was saying, HLFD uh, conference is of importance to Fiji and Suriname. It is, of, uh, first of all, it's importance to the world. There are yes, two, it is. Uh, we take two breaths. The first breath comes from the forest. The second breath that we take comes from the oceans. And if the forests are gone, our first breath is gone. If our oceans uh, are gone and uh, acidity continues and they uh, continue to warm up, then the second breath is gone. Wow. And so both uh, our countries uh, are, first of all, uh, in tackling climate change uh, through preserving our forest, are helping ourselves, but we are helping humanity. So we are yeah. part of uh, uh, something that is much, much larger. And I think uh, the importance of you hosting us and this conference here is to tell the world uh, that this is something much larger and uh, not, is, uh, not uh, something specific to our country. So that's why we're very excited. And uh, my prime minister sends his apologies. It is uh, uh, your president had extended invitation to him. Uh, he was unable to come because uh, uh, our parliament uh, just convened yesterday and we had elections oh. for our new speaker. Wow. And uh, so he was unable to take the... Uh, take uh, this invitation, but he sends his apologies, which I'm passing that through you. That is not a problem at all. We hope to see him in the future in Suriname. And um, what are the main things that you would want to discuss in the in the conference? So uh, I I think uh, one of the I don't want to say frustrations, but uh, like Suriname and Fiji, we are both leading in tackling climate. Uh, uh, we're taking climate actions, determined climate actions, 
and uh, you are preserving and safeguarding your forest. We are preserving and safeguarding our forest. We are expanding the acreage. We are tackling deforestation. We are increasing the acreage uh, uh, that is uh, the mangrove uh, replanting. We have declared uh, many marine protected areas. So both on the oceans and the land, we, are, we have a balanced uh, approach. And on, uh, on forest, uh, uh, I don't want to uh, use a strong word uh, uh, like frustration, but uh, I think we, we share uh, a aspiration uh, that more development resources and more development finances should be available for countries like ours yes. uh, to continue uh, on this path. Not only continue on this path, but to accelerate uh, uh, work on, on preserving and conserving our forest and also expanding uh, the areas. In some, uh, these are very difficult choices for our type of countries because we do need to balance. Uh, we, we have to deliver on economic growth. We have to ensure that economic development takes place and their jobs and incomes and livelihoods of our communities. So that is uh, an important part. And so when we tackle uh, deforestation as well as when we are expanding the areas under conservation, these are quite complex and difficult uh, uh, choices that our countries well, yes. make. Yeah? Yes. And uh, you're, you're a politician, so you know yes. how, how important, uh, how difficult some of these policy choices are. You cannot please everybody. Yes. <laughs> and we need to find a way to balance everything. It is a challenge, and that's why it's been uh, an issue for so long. Yes. And uh, we hope that in the conference we can then get much more progress uh, to find a way to have a sustainable means of uh, financing our uh, efforts. Absolutely. And uh, in this, I thank you for your uh, participation. And, uh, but as, as you've said also, we don't have a choice. Uh, Suriname and Fiji are uh, both uh, threatened by climate change, rising sea level. And we don't have a choice then to uh, work together mm -hmm. towards a more sustainable a uh, solution to this problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, you. Minister. And, and uh, very good luck for, the, for hosting the conference. And I also look forward to great progress being made and also for Suriname and Fiji and the, and the coalition of countries here uh, to work together to raise, raise the international uh, ambition. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much Minister.